Hello everyone, I'm Valerie Forbes, Dean of the College of Biological Sciences, and I'd like to welcome you all to the 2021 College of Biological Sciences Commencement Celebration. While there will be no procession today, we thought it would be fun to add just a little of that flavor to today's commencement with a brief clip from our last in-person ceremony and a few words from our faculty marshals who were selected by this year's graduating class to represent each major. Hi everyone, I am Rob Rooker. Some of you may know me either from foundations or from genetics, but if you never had me before, uh, I want to thank all of you for electing me as the marshal uh, for biology major. Now, if I was actually there in person, what I would do is I'd carry in a banner and I actually made one. Here we go. This is what I would do. I would uh, look, watch it's on both sides. Is that good or what? One more time. So anyway, the actual banner is really heavy, so that was way easier. Although it took me about a half an hour to make, so that, that was kind of rough. Anyway, um, I just want to say sincerely that um, I'm proud of all of you for this achievement. Uh, the CBS curriculum is not easy, and for those of you who get through it and graduate, you know, you should really be proud of yourselves. I'm sure you're very well prepared for many different kinds of careers in biology and I wish you very well. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so proud of each and every one of you for graduating from college during this crazy year. Don't fret. You are now poised to tackle absolutely anything. Good luck and keep in touch. Hello, class of 2021. You've made it. You've made it through foundations, genetics, and evolutionary biology, cell biology, and ecology and all the other classes you've taken in your major. And you've learned what you've learned and done well enough to be graduating this year. So congratulations. It's been a pleasure having you in our courses. And we hope you have fond memories of the University of Minnesota and of learning biology with classmates as talented and hardworking as you are. May your journey ahead be challenging, productive, and deeply fulfilling. We wish you the best. Congratulations, graduates. I'm so proud of you all. To use some physiology lingo, you faced incredible resistance to your success, particularly this last year, which means your driving forces, intelligence, resilience, persistence, and strength of character are of a great magnitude. You should be proud of yourselves. I'm so excited to hear about your future adventures and accomplishments, and I know you'll go on to make our world a better place. Graduating seniors, you did it. Congratulations. You should be proud of all of your hard work and accomplishments. And I wish you the best as you go on to apply the knowledge and the skills that you've learned. Enjoy the adventure ahead. Never, never stop learning. Also, a special congratulations to our microbiology majors. I was honored uh, to be nominated as your faculty marshal. It means a lot to me. Thank you. I've truly enjoyed the interactions I've had with you through my course, through research in my laboratory, through the Microbiology Club. I wish that I was celebrating graduation with you in person and proudly carrying the microbiology banner. So I'll say here, I'm proud of you, and I wish all of you the best in your future careers. Greetings, neuro majors. It has been my pleasure and my honor to be your Dugs during your time here at the University of Minnesota. I'm sure you're all going to go on to do interesting things, and I look forward to hearing from you and about you in the future. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for the honor of serving as your faculty marshal this year, and what a year it has been. Even though it's starting to sound a bit cliche, it is nevertheless true that you all have endured remarkable hardships and been incredibly challenged this year. So it's all the more wonderful that you are graduating Hats off to you and a big, huge congratulations as you embark on your next journey. I'm so excited that all of you are going to be part of making the world a brighter, more just, more compassionate, and more fun place in 2021 and beyond. Congratulations. Hello to my unicorns in plant and microbial biology. 
This is your Dougs, Clay Carter, and on behalf of the department, uh, I'd just like to say we're very happy for you. We're very proud of you. Uh, we're also very sad that we can't uh, do this in person. However, we do hope to uh, be able to get together with you in the future. Don't be a stranger. We hope to see you around. Take care. Be well. Best of luck. Congratulations, CBS Multiple Majors. I am truly in awe of your abilities to complete multiple degrees in these trying times. To turn our developmental biology mantra, find it, move it, lose it, into words of wisdom for life's journey, find your dreams, move all barriers from your path, lose not your passion for science. Please come back and visit us often. Congratulations, everyone. The past year has been challenging for all, but particularly for this class. You've had to change course and adapt in ways big and small. Some have experienced financial hardship. Some have grappled with illness. All of you have navigated uncertainty and challenges in your way to achieving this milestone. While we aren't able to shake your hand as you cross the stage, Know that your faculty and advisors are tremendously proud of you. You have put in years of work to get here, and you and your family have every reason to celebrate what you've accomplished. Congratulations. I also want to take a moment and recognize the families and friends today. Your support, guidance, and encouragement over the years has helped our graduates get to today, and this is your moment too. Today, we celebrate the work it took for you to get here. Graduating with a degree from this college is no small feat. You spent hours in the library and the lab gaining a deeper knowledge about life at every scale. And you applied that knowledge to actual problems. You overcame academic challenges and had the thrill of discovery in your research. Nearly all of you made your own discoveries. Many of you made important contributions, volunteering on campus and in the community. Well done. Your scientific training teaches you to approach the unknown with curiosity. It provides you with the tools you need to seek and find answers. And it makes you resilient in the face of failure. You know that experiments often produce negative results, but those results contain insights and point to a way forward. Step by step, through collective effort, we build a body of knowledge. It's a powerful framework for addressing complicated problems. Our current moment also underscores the value of your degree. It makes abundantly clear the essential role of evidence in guiding our decisions and ensuring the safety and well-being of our community. The creation of some of the COVID vaccines on the market right now is a great example of why basic research, the type of research in which many of you have participated, is so important. A basic understanding of RNA achieved over decades enabled scientists to create revolutionary vaccines in record time. Your training and knowledge of the world around us has the ability to shape the future of the world we live in. The world needs you, all you know, all you are, all you will be. As newly minted CBS grads, you are well equipped with knowledge and experience that you can share with your family and your community. That's how we move the needle, person by person, interaction by interaction. We know you will use what you have learned during your time here to shape the world in positive ways, whatever path you choose. One of our greatest honors as educators and advisors, teachers and staff, is watching you achieve this milestone today. We will miss seeing your faces on campus or online and wish you the best of luck in whatever comes next. On behalf of the entire CBS community, congratulations. This year's commencement speaker is an award-winning researcher and educator who has worked tirelessly to advance undergraduate education. In fact, some of you no doubt took her course on the biology of viruses. 
Dr. Leslie Schiff is a professor in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology, Associate Dean for the University Curriculum, and an advisor on educational policy issues. She has received university and national accolades for her teaching, including the Karski Award from the American Society for Microbiology and the Morse Alumni Distinguished Teaching Award. Dr. Schiff joined the faculty of the University of Minnesota in 1990, following a postdoctoral fellowship at Harvard Medical School. She received her PhD in immunology from Tufts University, and we are delighted to have her as today's commencement speaker. Dr. Schiff. Students, friends, families, colleagues, I'm honored, humbled as I stand here today in the belly of the internet giving your commencement address. My heart is full of pride and hope for you, but at the same time, I find myself a little wistful, thinking of all of the, let's be honest, crap that's come with this last year and a half. Being videotaped in regalia in the dean's office a few weeks in advance, I pine for the typical, normal CBS graduation. I want to hug this heavy velvet regalia to Mariucci on a Saturday afternoon. Purposefully wear no mascara because I get a little weepy. Futs over how to make the hat look right. I want to high five the honor students who I've shepherded through a painful year of thesis writing and hug the micro majors before lining up, even those who took my final and are mad at me. I want to wax in the indescribable excitement on the faces of our graduates. I want to hear the bagpiper before the procession starts and hop up and hug students I know as they walk across the stage. I want you to call me over after the ceremony so your parents can take pictures of us together. A member of the Board of Regents attends every single CBS graduation to confer the degrees, and more than one of them has commented that CBS graduation involves significantly more on-stage hugging than any other University of Minnesota graduation. But no, no hugging. We've not had a normal year, not had a normal year and a half. And while we're excruciatingly close, this is not a normal graduation ceremony. And frankly, I'm sorry. It's my fault. Every January on the Tuesday after Martin Luther King Day, when I begin my much adored virology course, I say or I have said that there's nothing a virology professor likes more at the start of the semester than a little viral epidemic to goose student interest. And then I rattle off a few. Swine flu, Zika virus, Norwalk virus in the dorms, measles among the wrestlers, SARS-CoV-2. So my bad. I promise I won't do it again. So now, before I transition from a little self-serving wallowing and an apology to my heartfelt hopeful message to the graduating class, I'd like to pause to thank families and friends for sharing you and trusting us with the precious gift of your education. Now that the semester is almost over, I can admit CBS undergraduates are so much fun. They, you, are smart and engaged and engaging and earnest and challenging. We're privileged to get to teach you. So really, what sage advice do I have? What's my message? Well, in my family, I'm not that glass half full person. My husband, a virologist here at the U, is pathologically and irritatingly optimistic. He can always find the bright side. And while that's not my jam, in my message, I did want to put the per pandemic into perspective. Because I truly believe that the gains that you've made in this unprecedented time, in spite of it and because of it, outweigh the losses over the long haul. There's no doubt you've encountered significant challenges and obstacles, personal as well as academic. Local and national events have and continue to exacerbate our collective stress. But I would argue that the stresses and challenges have presented opportunities for development, evolution, a little accelerated natural selection. Some of your old traits may not have worked for you. You know, punctuated equilibrium. Just like you, I Googled it. It's the hypothesis that evolutionary development is marked by isolated episodes, let's hope so, of rapid speciation between long, blessedly dull periods of little or no change. 
So consider a little trip down memory lane to put your amazing punctuated journey into perspective. I'm gonna argue that the gifts that CBS gives and the new pandemic gifts go way beyond the details of the Krebs cycle, Punnett squares, medium spiny neurons, Graham stains, sechi discs, and osmo regulation. So think back. Remarkably, you were willing to hop on buses full of strangers and spend a few days in biology boot camp at the headwaters of the Mississippi. You festered over that ridiculous test. I mean, I, I know why we do it, but I really don't know why we do it. You tramped through the bog, hopped the headwaters, memorized the rouser and hail to thee, and received prized t-shirts. And for the record, we were the first college to do the t-shirt thing. You made friends with each other and with members of the faculty, and you started to establish your identity as a CBS student. As a faculty on the podium at convocation, there's nothing except graduation that brings more tears to my eyes than seeing that wedge of fresh-faced CBS students on that day of hope and promise actually singing the alma mater, arms around each other, swaying and pointing to their northern star. Thinking about it gives me goosebumps. College was just beginning and you were already remarkable. Foundations. You survived and maybe even thrived in foundations in biology, all 12 credits of it. You learned how to ask questions, to navigate the interpersonal challenges of teamwork, to find relative information, develop hypotheses, interrogate data. You germinated as bona fide seedling scientists even as you were complaining about chemistry, Calc 2, and physics. None of those are fault. Normally, in junior and senior year, we see the most amazing evidence of your development, your intellectual growth. And this is when students set their sights on postgraduate goals and typically hunk it, hunker down to get her done. But we were faced with unfair and seemingly insurmountable challenges. Midway through last year, we didn't get to see you. What the heck even was Zoom? Now it's a verb, like Google. A little over a year ago, your equilibri equilibrium became seriously punctuated, and the pandemic has led you to change in profound and positive ways. What's more, you know it. I recently asked the seniors I teach if they recognized unanticipated upsides of the pandemic, and I wanted to share some of those with you. On grit, and resilience. A student remarked, in what is supposed to be the greatest time of our lives, we've instead been living through a global pandemic, a reckoning on race relations, an extremely stressful election, all the while balancing school, work, research, friendships, family, and the impending fear of the future. It's made me realize we're a lot stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Adapting to all that is thrown our way, all that grit and resilience will take us far. On creativity, a student wrote, the pandemic pushed us to be more creative in how we connected and cooperated with others. Connecting with peers, professors, and family members suddenly became impersonal and cold when it was done through a screen. But we grew and learned the little things that could make it feel meaningful and genuine again. On being present, a student mused that a lot of your early 20s are plagued by social media and searching for those Instagrammable moments. I found that I didn't care once to find those glamorous moments or live my life a certain way on social media. We had a chance to be comfortable and fully present in the presence of others. On living in the moment, a student wrote that the pandemic taught me to take opportunities when they arise because you never really know when you literally won't be able to pursue them anymore. So make the most of your time while you have it. On self-care, another learned that they should put as much effort into themselves as other things they care about. Spending a lot of time alone in quarantine, they realized it's important to be their own best friend. And finally, on gratitude. 
The pandemic helped us identify what we truly care about and wanted to make time for. We had to figure out who and what was important and impactful in our lives, something we probably wouldn't have done otherwise. These, your metacognitive thoughts, give me tremendous hope. Consider the traits you've developed, the previous habits of mind and spirit and body that you have replaced with more sophisticated, evolved approaches. The faculty has witnessed you reaching beyond capacity in the face of this harsh environment, learning to learn, communicate, and take care of yourselves in new ways. You had no choice but to tolerate ambiguity, one of our most famous student development outcomes. When, if ever, were you gonna get back into the lab or to the internship? How could you manage to keep moving towards your goals when the pandemic, social unrest, political turmoil, mental health challenges made absolutely everything harder? But you did, and in the course of surviving, you acquired new tricks, tools in the toolkit that you'll bring into the future. Faculty too have had to evolve, and I don't mean to say that we've necessarily done a great job in all areas. We've had to be, or tried to be, more flexible, more adaptable, more forgiving, and for the most part, you've given us grace, and I thank you profoundly for that because being perfect just hasn't been an option in this last year and a half. Developing a sense of collective peace with a goal of just good enough under the circumstances is a major life lesson for all of us. Your optimism, wisdom, courage, passion, perseverance, and grace have astounded us. The faculty are so very proud of the CBS class of 2021. You are indeed one of a kind. So we wish you success, but we also wish you seemingly insurmountable obstacles and failure because it turns out you already know that's where the surprises and opportunities lie. Continue to fight the good fight and make good trouble. And though I can't see you through these interwebs, when John S. Anderson leads you in the alma mater, I'll be swaying right here, thinking of you as we point to our northern star. Thank you, Leslie, for those inspiring words. Next, we have a brief video in which your fellow graduates reflect on their CBS experience. When I think about graduation, I get nervous. I think about all the feelings I've had. Nervous, relieved, proud, tired, satisfied. However, the most prominent of which would have to be excitement for the future. It is exciting and also scary at the same time. Simply because I've never experienced life outside of being a university student, but I'm also excited to see who I am. I, I know that I'll get nostalgic and I'll miss seeing familiar faces. I had the opportunity to meet so many hardworking and passionate people. It's also bittersweet. I didn't expect to have to do my entire senior year online um, because of the global pandemic. My friends and I, we have really learned a lot about grit and perseverance this last year. Coming to CBS, I was someone who really focused on getting things by myself. Now I'm living as someone who really values teamwork. My CBS classmates are the reason why I know half of what I know. Seeing so many of my CBS classmates work hard to achieve their own goals has kept me motivated to achieve mine. I think the biggest change has been in my perspective and how I view the world. This year has revealed and reinforced a lot of the inequalities and inequities in our society. So I would say that what I'm looking forward to is being part of the generation that disrupts these processes. Something that excites me about the future is hope. Hope of loving one another. Hope of respecting one another. Hope of treating everyone in our society equally, even though we have differences. This year has been tough, 
but I'm very excited to move on to the next stage in my scientific training, working to probe the bases of neurological disease. It's been really inspiring to see all of the different things that people plan to do with their degrees. If y'all can do that in four years, I can't imagine what great things y'all are going to do in the next 40. I hope to contribute to the world by researching infectious diseases that impact women's health. I'll be attending my dream dental school. I am starting a full-time position in patient care. Fighting to have a better health care for everybody. There are so many people that I would like to thank. I would like to thank my family for always supporting me my professors for teaching me and supporting me throughout this process. I want to say thank you to CBS Student Services. I'd like to thank the grad students in my PI at the Basel Lab for being kick-ass women in science. I would also like to thank all of my friends that went along this crazy four-year journey with me. In every other chapter that's to come, there's never going to be something that's just quite like uh, these past four years. Congratulations to all of my fellow graduates and go Gophers! Thank you to all the students who participated in making that video. Now we would like to recognize the accomplishments of a number of graduating seniors. In addition to these awards, many graduating seniors were welcomed into Phi Beta Kappa this year, which means that they are members of one of the most esteemed honor societies in the country. Also, students who completed the Dean Scholars, Community Engagement Scholars, and President's Emerging Scholars programs are noted in the program booklet along with the many students graduating with honors and distinction. Congratulations to you all. Now it is my pleasure to introduce University of Minnesota Regent Ken Powell. Regent Powell is the former chairman and chief executive officer of General Mills, where he served in a variety of positions since 1979. Regent Powell spent more than a third of his career overseas. He serves on the boards of directors for Medtronic, the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, and Partners in Food Solutions, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping start up food companies in Africa. Greetings, graduates and families, faculty and staff, distinguished guests, everyone joining us. I am honored to preside at this commencement on behalf of the University of Minnesota Board of Regents. To the graduates, I extend congratulations. Through your talent, hard work, and determination, you have earned this day of recognition. We not only celebrate your academic accomplishments, but also the potential you have to make a positive difference in the next stage of your lives. You'll be contributing to your communities, the state of Minnesota, the nation, and even the world. To all the family and friends joining from near and far, thank you for the countless ways you've supported these students as they earned their academic degrees. In keeping with commencement tradition, will the graduates please rise as they are able. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the regents, I now confer upon you the degrees for which you have qualified. Congratulations to every single one of you. Next, Professor Emeritus John S. Anderson will lead us in Hale, Minnesota. Many of you learned Hale, Minnesota from Dr. Anderson at Nature of Life as freshmen. During nearly four decades as a biochemistry professor, John has won every award the university and college offer for excellence in teaching. He once said that his secret as a teacher was understanding where students are on their educational journey so he can meet them and take them from there. 
His dedication to this college, and especially to our students, is inspiring. Congratulations to all of the graduates of the class of 2021. It is a tradition that we sing the alma mater as the finale at commencement. Many of you were introduced to Hale, Minnesota at Nature of Life when you were just beginning your involvement in the College of Biological Sciences and your educational journey at the University of Minnesota. Now you have completed your course of study and we have gathered online this afternoon to celebrate your graduation. This is a time when emotions run deep. As you join with your family and friends to sing the alma mater, let your feelings flow freely as you reflect on the education you have received and the many wonderful events and friendships that have enriched your experience as a member of the University of Minnesota community. Minnesota, hail to thee, hail to thee, our college dear, thy light shall ever be, a beacon bright and clear. Graduates, this ceremony symbolizes the university's acknowledgement that you have fulfilled the requirements for a bachelor's degree in the biological sciences. It means that you are prepared to make contributions as engaged, educated citizens of the state, the nation, and the world. You also leave with something just as important, lifelong friends and a connection to this college. Please keep in touch. We're eager to learn how your careers and lives unfold. While we are sorry to see you go, the parting is bittersweet because we know you are ready to make your mark. That concludes our program. Congratulations and best wishes for the future.